Hey guys, this is Jane. So I'm back with another video, and I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but I just kind of forgot about it. But uh, basically, um, if you live in a tri-state area and you're a K-pop fan, and I guess you're wondering, like, where can I buy K-pop, right? So to my knowledge, I know of three places to where you can buy K-pop albums from. So, um, but this is more so just the tri-state area only. So I don't know any place outside of that. No one in Florida and Miami, they have K-pop in USA. I know in LA, they got Music Plaza and they probably got other stores out in LA. But as for the tri-state area, I only know of three places in New York City. And actually, they're not that far of a distance by each other. But yeah, so um, the first place that I know that I will definitely, like the first place I would probably recommend is uh, Correo Bookstore. It's on 35 West 32nd Street in uh, New York City. So I guess your best bet is if you decide to go, is if you come in through Penn Station. So how to get there is literally like up the block. It's like literally like a block up from Penn Station. So um, when you're leaving out of Penn Station, make sure you're heading towards the Duane Reed. If you're if you see a Duane Reed, you're heading the right direction. You go up the you know those long flight of stairs, and when you go outside, you'll see the Hotel Pennsylvania on the left, and on the right you'll see the Fuse Building. So you're heading in the right direction. Literally, all you have to do is walk straight up the street, and you get to the next block. You'll see Greenlee Square, and you see like it's a fork in a row. So on the if you look on the left to you, you'll see like the um, Manhattan Mall. So like the Macy's and Victoria's Secret. So if you see that, you're in the right direction. Just go up. Just go straight up the street. You're gonna cross over. And then you're gonna there's gonna be another light, so you cross over that, and then it's literally like a few feet up the street. It's gonna be on the left side of the street, and it's like I said, it's on 35 West 32nd. Now I don't know what it looks like now because they um the last time I was in New York they were doing reconstruction, so I haven't been back there since they since they were reconstructing it. But how it used to look when you would come inside, they had I think it's like the face shop. So it's like two two stores in one building. So you go straight in and that's the face shop. But if you go to the right, that's the bookstore. Now how they how the, it was set up before it was more so just a bookstore. So the books pretty much took up majority of the store, but they kind of stuffed the K-pop in like the right corner of the store. And so that's where they had all the K-pop. So they had like magazines and albums and posters and stuff like that. And like on this kind of like this tight corner. And um, so yeah. And uh, like I said, I don't know what it looks like in there now. Because I haven't been there since they've... Um, I, I'm thinking they're finished, you know, reconstructing the store. So it should be open now. But yeah. Um, honestly, I will tell you now, it is a bit pricey. Um, the last thing I bought from there was, uh, Jung Hyun's, uh, base, and I paid $26 for it. So, I think that's, like, the most I paid for a brand new album, but I really wanted it, so I went and bought it. But, honestly, so like I said, a lot of these stores that I'm about to show you are kind of pricey. So, I warn you guys now, so, it's like, you're not gonna really find one, or maybe, like, the last one you find one cheaper, but... The, these two are really pricey. So, like I said, there, like I said, uh, if you go in the store, like I said, they have albums. And they don't have any, like, independent artists. So, if you're looking for, like, K-Hip-Hop or K-R&B, you're not going to find it there. But if you're looking for, like, more mainstream artists, so, like, Big Bang 21, Teen Top, Black B, Dix, Infinite, 4 Minute, Secret, Girl Generation, Super Junior, Shiny, you that's where you need to go if you want to go there. And they have majority of their stuff. Now, TVSQ, I don't I'm not sure they have everything because they have a lot of stuff. But I do know they have a lot of Shiny and Super Junior and stuff like that. So I mean like I said, you have to go to the store. So I mean I don't know how it looks now. So they may have, you know, added more to the inventory. So yeah. So like I said, just that's definitely one place to go to. The next place is um 
Okay, I'm trying to remember how to pronounce it. Kino Kuninya. Like I said, I probably pronounced it wrong. But it's a bookstore. It's a Japanese bookstore. It's on 1073 Avenue of Americas. So your best bet to get there is if you're leaving from Korea Bookstore. It's literally like a few, it's a nice few blocks. And I mean, New York blocks are long as hell, but... Um, it's on, it's like, if you know where Bryant Park is, it's literally right across the street from Bryant Park. But if you're walking, so if you're safe, you're leaving from here, literally go back where you came from, and where you get to Greenlee Square, and you're on, in a, on your left, you see like a chase, on your right, you see the chase, go straight up the block. Don't go on the left, because uh, there's going to be a fork. Don't go to the left. You're going to be behind the store. You want to stay on the right side of the fork of the road and go straight up the road. And like I said, when you when you go, when you're about to get, to, when you see, when you, eh, when you get closer to Times Square, you're going to see Bryant Park. You can't miss Bryant Park. You really can't miss it. It's going to be on your right. Literally across the street is the bookstore. So when you go inside, the store actually has three floors. So when you, um... When you first walk in, you're on the ground floor. And in this bookstore, it's not completely just Japanese books. They have English books and they have books in Japanese as well. So the first floor is mainly just the English books. And you go downstairs. I think they have more so like magazines and stuff downstairs on the on the you know on the bottom floor. But if you go upstairs, that's where you find all the Japanese stuff. So you'll see, you'll find anime, magna, um, like figurines and like a whole bunch of stuff. So if you're really into Japanese culture, like I say, anime and magna, that's your spot to go. And now they don't have K-pop per se, but they do. I have seen them with like artists that have debuted in Japan. So like I've seen Girls' Generation and Shiny and Big Bang, but the selection is not big. So like if you're looking for like shiny like you know like old shiny stuff i don't know i haven't been there in a while but like i will definitely say this is really expensive i think i seen the boy meets you album it wasn't even the one with the dvd it's just a regular cd i think it was like 48 dollars so yeah it's really really fucking expensive so i i would you know definitely just know that it's very pricey in here but if you want to go check it out yourself Definitely go there. So, like I said, it's right across the street from Bryant Park. And it's, like, a couple blocks from the uh, Best Buy Theater. So, like I said, all these stores are within, like, blocks of each other. It's a, it's a nice walk. So, I would say that uh, the third store, Book Off, is, like, the furthest from these two. So, um, Book Off. So Book Off is a used store. It's a used bookstore. So they have CDs, DVDs, video games, TVs, uh, video game systems. You name it, they have it. So it's on, like I said, it's on 49 West 45th Street. Um, Let me see how to get there. Uh, your best bet is that so if you're going from the Best Buy Theater, which is on 44th, you pass, uh, so you walk past the Best Buy Theater on the 45th, where you see, like, the MT, the, how you get into the MTV building. So, you cross the street, you cross Broadway, you know, you cross Broadway and go straight up the street. I think you have to walk maybe, like, a block and a half, maybe, either, like, a block or two, but it's not that far. Like, I, I, ha I can't remember. Either, like, it's a block and a half or just, like, a block. Yes, yeah, so I said, like, a block and a half. So it's really not that far of a walk from the Best Buy Theater. And if you're coming from the Best Buy Theater, it's going to be on the left, on the left side of the road. And, um, yeah, so I said maybe, like, maybe, like, halfway up the block. And, uh... You go inside on when you first walk. It's only there's three floors, but when you first walk in, that's where they have like the TV, the video game system, the CDs, DVDs are all on the first floor. Now, if you go upstairs, they have books in Japanese. So, like, 
they have like they have like English style books but in Japanese so like you know like the how to, you know like the for dummies books you know what I'm talking about those books they have those in Japanese and stuff like that now if you're looking for like you know like stuff based like just Japanese just regular Japanese books you want to go to the the basement that's the third you know, the bottom floor so you're going to go down the stairs and to the right you're going to see like comic books in front of you you're going to see like just regular books and to the left of you is where they have all the magna at um let me see now if you i i would definitely say they do have k-pop there but not the selection is very very slim like when i went there the only thing K-pop related that I saw was Rain, Kara, TVXQ, and Black B. And it is only like one or two albums. Everything else is Japanese pop. So if you're really into Japanese pop, that's your store. So they have like at least three, four sections of Japanese pop. And they also have like uh, Japanese dramas as well. So like I said, if you're really into like Japanese music and the dramas and stuff, that's the store you'll go and I... So like I said, I got Rain's Back to the Basics album for like $20. It is used though, I will say it is used, but um, I paid $20 for it. So that's like the cheapest uh, place to buy the albums out of these three. All, all these three, book off is the cheapest because it's a used bookstore. So, so yeah, uh, if you want to buy new stuff, I would go here. If you're into like Japanese stuff, I would go here. If you're looking for some used stuff and maybe you can find some used k-pop stuff i will go here so yeah that's pretty much it these are the only I've, I've been to all these places and i bought things from book off and korea bookstore i haven't bought anything here because it's too damn expensive but again these are the places i would try if you want to go if you're ever in new york you want to see if you can find some k-pop stuff definitely go ahead so again you have korea bookstore 35 West 32nd Street. You have here uh, 1073 Avenue of Americas or across the street from Bryant Park. And last but not least, Book Off is on 49 West 45th Street in New York. So, again, all these are in New York. So, you know, I will probably I will just put the address down below. And, yeah, and that's it. So, wish you guys luck and hopefully you find some things you like. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.